My name is Justin Kane, and I'm a board-certified orthopedic surgeon here at the Orthopedic Institute of North Texas. I have subspecialty training in foot and ankle surgery, and what I'd like to talk about in this video is total ankle replacement. When we talk about total ankle replacement, which is also referred to as total ankle arthroplasty, we're referring to a resurfacing of the joints at the bottom part of the tibia and the top part of the talus. This is the anatomic region that allows your foot to go up and down in flexion and extension. Ankle replacement is becoming more and more popular for the treatment of ankle arthritis. Compared to hip and knee arthritis, which is typically wear and tear of the joint, ankle arthritis typically occurs after injuries occurred over life. When this happens, we typically see our patients at an earlier age than when patients present for hip and knee arthritis. This creates a unique situation in the fact that with the younger patient population, we require implants that last a longer period of time and are more durable. For ankle replacement, this treatment had historically been reserved for older patients with lower demands. However, with the newer implants on the markets and newer techniques that have been developed, younger and younger patients are becoming suitable candidates to undergo total ankle replacement. Patients considering total ankle replacement should understand that there are limitations after the surgery. Motion is predicted by pre-surgical motion, and what that means is that even though pain can be resolved with the surgical procedure, motion may not be fully restored. Additionally, patients should understand that high impact exercises are typically contraindicated in this procedure. What that means is that if you're expecting to get back to high levels of running, basketball, tennis, and even downhill skiing, you may be unable to return to those levels of activity once the surgery has been performed. In patients undergoing total ankle replacement, they should expect the procedure to take anywhere from one to three hours. Many times the surgery can be performed on an outpatient basis or with a single night stay in the hospital. Patients return to the office at one week's time to evaluate the incision. If the incision looks good, the patient can be weight-bearing immediately in a cast. At three weeks from surgery, patients are placed into a boot and are allowed to weight-bear immediately. At this point, they go to physical therapy and start range of motion. Patients undergoing total ankle replacement should expect to be able to get back into a regular shoe by about eight weeks and by about 12 weeks, they can resume light exercise such as elliptical trainer, bicycle, and light jogging. Patients undergoing total ankle replacement will often need a CAT scan before surgery. This allows for appropriate pre-surgical planning, as well as for potential for 3D printing to help ensure the accuracy of placement of the implants. The surgical procedure is performed in a hospital setting and usually patients undergo receiving a nerve block prior to the surgery to allow them to have long-term post-operative pain control. When we talk about what we're replacing in the ankle, we're replacing the bottom part of the tibia and the top part of the talus. This is a resurfacing procedure which allows us to remove the arthritic joint and replace it with a metal, plastic, and metal component. People who are experiencing pain in their ankle, which has not subsided and has not gotten better with other interventions, should consider seeing a board-certified orthopedic surgeon specializing in foot and ankle surgery. We have been trained to take care of these issues and can offer numerous operative and non-operative interventions. Additionally, many of us can perform total ankle arthroplasty in an efficient manner, getting you back on your feet, resolving the pain that you have in your ankle.